they do evil, no one may person talk. Hmm. Them say that my egun, that man too they talk. He too they talk. Say my egun diary, he they hot like pepper. But every day, then they take money in buck. Woman picking, they district, they hawk. Still them talk, say, make we not talk. But thank God, say, my egun don't come. So my people make you laugh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Day of in mind. Good morning to you, good afternoon to you, good evening to you from wherever you are watching from. This is Mayegun Live. Tell them. So if you read the caption of the broadcast, today, today is uh, Sunday, the 30th of January, which also happens to be my birthday. So thank you very much to every one of you who have been uh, reaching out. And then, uh, yeah. Sending all your best wishes, uh, your uh, you know, your good wishes and all that. So thank you. I can't really respond everyone one after the other. I just have to send uh, this singular collective uh, thank you to every one of you. Thank you always. So today, I want to uh, address what many of you possibly are currently, you know, reacting. Surprisingly, you are reacting that uh, the said teenagers are now engaging in uh, money rituals in nigeria oh what do you call it okay t is that what we call it uh, in igbo okay t also yeah it is escalating as the poverty in nigeria escalates as the corruption in nigeria escalates as the inequality in nigeria continue to escalate the young uh, in nigeria are falling into the bracket of the evil of the of the uh, society and we will need to say something about that killing people killing your fellow human being because you want to make money nigeria nollywood turning you your youth your i mean your your children to killers and many many of you are enablers too yahoo 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 plus oshole money ritual okwete and any other name you can give to it killing human being for money i want to talk about that today and yes, Share the broadcast. And yes, like And yes, we like it. And yes, and yes, I do. I do. I do. I I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Good morning once again, good afternoon, and good evening to you. Sunday Sermon on Mayegun's Diary Political is the uh, program 
that uh, I actually love so much because it's the moment I actually speak my mind. I speak my mind the way I feel about uh, any topic. Today, I'm going to do the same. I have, uh, you know, the social media is currently agog with the news of teenagers in Abe Okuta who killed another teenager, a 15-year-old girl, Rafiat, I believe. They killed her, cut off her head, and they started cooking the head in a pot. Teenagers. She is a girlfriend, or she was a girlfriend to one of, the, one of her killers. Her boyfriend, a 17-year-old boy, who wanted to probably... Be dangote, be this, be that, as the society continue to mount the pressure, which is part of why I want to talk about this, by the way. Teenagers, four teenagers, they conspired because they were convinced that all they needed to break away from poverty was just to find somebody who they can kill, use their body parts, and then uh, they will become rich. So that's exactly what they did in Abe Okuta, Ogun State, where teenagers killed another teenager, cut off her head, and they were cooking it to burn her head uh, in a pot before they were caught. And when they were caught, in fact, the first two, when they were caught, and then it led to the arrest of others, the shock, the shock on the face of those who arrested them is the reason why it is now trending in Nigeria. But let me tell you this. Since the poverty in Nigeria has become generational, every day, every time we tell you that if you don't do things differently, nothing will change and nothing will be different. It will be same of the same, if not worse. Some of you, you prefer your same of the same political system a system that promotes uh, inequality, a system that now gave uh, room to superstition, superstition that makes so many people a lot of money. They use religion, seeing vision, uh, Nollywood, your Yoruba movie, your, uh, what do you call, you call it, Igbo movies as well. Nollywood that uh, depicts the efficacy, the, the, the potency, of uh, Nigerian voodoo. The Nigerian voodoo, somebody is, can be so powerful, right, that he himself is living from hand to mouth, from those he's stealing from possibly, and then suddenly he can make you rich. Nollywood, where you can see human being, they'll say, oh, just go and bring your girlfriend, go and bring your wife. You want to be rich. Do you want to, Baba, I'm so poor. Baba, life has been so hard. I cannot feed. I cannot uh, take care of my family. Baba, I need you to help me. Yoruba movies and Nigerian movies. And the solution is, say you will be able to do it if I give you the solution. Can you find, can you go and find, I mean, can you go and look for a beautiful woman? Maybe your girlfriend, maybe your wife, maybe your sister. Go and bring them. We will use her. She will just prepare a room, put her in a room, and then I will prepare everything, and she will be bringing you money, Nollywood. Oh, what happened is that uh, we, uh, menu, that's what they call it in Yoruba. If you, want to buy the, to, if you want to buy human parts in Yoruba land, you won't say, I want to buy human parts. If you want to buy, that's, that's I, and I, I've told you about the Nollywood, right? But there's actually a market for it. An imbalance contraption that gave room to superstition. And in fact, eh, they believe in it. It's no longer superstition. They believe that uh, you can put human beings in a room and you can summon spirits. And the spirits, they will now take over the spirit of that person you put in a room. It may be your mother, maybe your father, maybe your friend, girlfriend and all of those, many, many things that people tell you about money ritual, none of them have, I mean, no, nobody has come out and say, oh, yeah, I did money ritual. This is how it works. Every 12 midnight, I can show you, the spirit will bring the money. Once they bring the money, 
All I have to make sure is that, you know, people who have told you about money rituals, money rituals, they either heard it for, from somebody. They either heard it for, from somebody. They heard it from somebody who heard it from their neighbor in 1992 or in 1985. Or somebody, you know, all those things. This is the story of money ritual. But guess what? People still do it to this day. But nobody can say, okay, sure, you want to see that person where they there. Now, money ritual, he did. And he's one of the richest uh, people in Africa. None. But when I was growing up, you know, I haven't been raised, I'm being raised, I mean, I was raised there uh, in the Jebu. So I grew up among the traditionalists. I grew up among the religionists like that, Christians, Muslims. I'm talking about uh, the core one, those who actually take God more than you can imagine. And at the same time, for every part of uh, their own understanding of God and uh, what have you, yeah, they are experts. So when I talk about the traditionalists, that was where I knew that I was asking, I asked people, then I said, Baba, is it true that uh, there is a uh, Osho, I mean, there is a uh, Ogunowo? And they told me, point blank, there is nothing like Ogunowo. And in fact, eh, it is a murder for anybody to tell you that they can turn a human being to money for you. It is a murder, killing. Then they now explained to me, they said, there is no Ogunowo. Me, when I was growing up, they said, there is no Ogunowo than your than the work of your hand. When I was growing up in Ijebu, they would say, if you are selling worobo, if you are selling orange, if you are selling uh, epa, if you are dedicated to it, if you, if you work hard, if you work hard on that uh, same business, you can be rich. So in order to now encourage you to work hard, our old, our forefathers, you know what they did, what they would do? They would give you what they called, uh, what they call, uh, uh, e, 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 e. why did I forget the name? A genou or something to make you sell. But they know that the only way you can sell or make money is when you take your business serious, not because they can put somebody in a room to be vomiting money. <gasps> See, joke, oh, oh, money, money will be falling everywhere. Like you see it in the Nollywood. Oshule, God bless you. No, I think uh, Oshule, Oshule is the one that, uh, is it called Oshule? Oshule doesn't require killing human being. Okay. They put together all the ingredients like uh, you know, a wigba, a we are wo, itakungba, itakwa wo, omigba, omia wo, this and that. They put everything together. They mix them up with soap. They will say, Oh, yeah, take the use and bath. But make sure say you they open your shop. Oh. Make sure that uh, you are paying attention to your account. Oh. Make sure that uh, you are not spending money anyhow. Face your business. People will be coming to buy the business from you. You will be selling and selling and selling and selling and selling. And the more you sell, they know you will be rich. So that was how the, our own forefathers, so they knew then they were farmers. Yeah. Whenever they had to do anything to hate their work or to, if somebody says, ah, I have not been having a good harvest. A farmer, somebody working, you know, are those who go out to ask for, please, Baba. Romilowo, please help me. I don't know what happened. My business is, they say, okay, that your business. What is type of business do you do? Because I grew up among the elders. I have to say this. And I'll keep saying it. That is why any of this woke mentality of today, my whole life don't move on. That is why today, some of you will wake up and you hear that the teenagers are killing themselves for money. And you'll be asking, you'll say, ah, she Nigeria is by Jeto, you need Nigeria to worst Jubelo. And parents, parents, are to be blamed. She did that of the society and the government. We'll come back to that later. In Ijebu, in where I come from, if you go to them and say, I want, to, I want you to help me, sir. First, they will ask you, what do you do for a living? Because they know that if you don't have a job, how can you say you want to have money? How can you believe that some money can just come and drop on you? 
They will ask you, what, what kind of work do you do? I, I'm a tailor, sir. Tailor. Okay. What kind of dress do you make? What kind of, uh, I mean, what, who are your customers and all of that? And I used to make, say, hmm. and you are very good at what you do. You are very good. You say, yes, sir, I'm very good, sir. And do you, are you always prompt? Like, do you always uh, kind of uh, meet up when you give your customers uh, the date they should come for their job? Do you? Yes, sir, I do that. Are you sure? Okay, yes. These are the things they know that if you do them right, they are enough to make you rich. Is your word Do you understand? Until the Amulu Malas, the four one niners, the spare the body human part traders, until they took over the loophole of people's desperation, finding a way out of poverty. And there you go, Yahu Yahu came. I have to say this, right? When Yahu Yahu first started. I was uh, among the young teenagers who actually jumped into it. You remember that uh, Korea-Japan 2022? That was the moment everybody went want to be on the computer. 2020, I mean, sorry, the 2002, rather. Korea-Japan 2002, I think, when we were all buying things uh, from uh, fever.com and all of that. I won't forget that. Until it changed to young people telling you that uh, I'm a yahoo yahoo. Young, young people, teenagers, oh. and the people that are doing this for them, they are adults. They are mulu malas in this, uh, in this uh, traditional way. The four one niners, the murderers, say you are yahu yahu. Ah, amani la tendini. You cannot collect money if we don't do this, this, this for you. So then they will say, you will see them. They say they are yahu yahu. And there they are, calabash here, yeah. red cloth there, yeah. red cloth here, yeah. uh, firewood there, yeah. this and that. And they, you're like, for goodness sake, then that didn't stop there. Then they started asking them to go and bring sanitary pad. The desperation, oh, the sanitary pad of their girlfriends used sanitary pads, right? They would soak the sanitary pad with the blood and the other stains, they will soak them in the water. They will do all whatever nonsense ritual they say they will do. And they will ask them to drink the water and their money is going to come. They should go and speak to Maga. Maga will pay. The society that kills for money, because that's what your politicians, that's what they do as well. Human being cannot turn to money. Tell your children that. On social media right now, people are arguing if uh, telling people that a human being cannot turn to money, human being, me, my ego, if you cut my head, you just killed me. That's what you did. You killed me. You're not going to make any money. Okay? They are, you are not going to become a, a billionaire or anything. And you need to begin to say that to your children. Because what you have now, you have uh, killers, murderers, as teenagers, and they are growing around you, as you are looking away, they are praying on you. Some are killing their mothers. They are killing. See, I have seen in the last uh, in the last three months alone, I have seen more than uh, three videos of young boys trying to kill their parents for money. Money ritual. Tell your children, no. Even if you are watching me right now. I know that social media has made things kind of complicated these days. Terrible. Yeah? I saw some videos on TikTok where you see some teenagers who are telling themselves inside the shrine. They are recording themselves inside shrine, encouraging themselves to get rich or die trying. You know what I mean? They said uh, if, you run, if you run too fast, you are going to blah, 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 blah. If you, uh, if you uh, sort of... Uh, don't uh, walk too fast or something, then uh, you are uh, possibly going to die poor. I was watching that video. It didn't make any sense to me, but I can tell the peer pressure that actually is growing. Some people, listen, some of you, you have uh, teenage sisters. You have uh, teenage brothers. Many of them are now dating. That's another thing. I remember a time I said something about the increasing uh, poverty and the destroyed uh, family value in Nigeria. 
that if you pay attention to the trends from uh, from the millennium, from the 2000s, right? 2000s, right? You will realize that uh, the family value in Nigeria has completely is completely gone. Children who are supposed to still be under the tutelage of their parent or guardian or somebody, you know, uh, in the care, they are out there and they are now the breadwinners for their family. So many of you have a teenage sisters. You have uh, sisters who are actually not teenagers, sisters who are dating teenage boys because they have money. You know they are into ritual, whatever they are doing, right? For now, yeah, whatever they are doing that is uh, giving them that little, little money, the biggest one is the day they will think your sister could be used, all right? Young, young people trying to use their mothers for ritual. I'm talking about, you know, attempt at, attempt to kill their own mother for money. I don't know many of you have seen that, and they will say, "I'm a devil." He's not devil. Hey, what is all this? Oh, for goodness' sake, not devil. He's not devil. Come on, look at the society. What you condone, what you many 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 sort of many things you indulge, many things you cover up, and you you probably think is normal. They always have consequences, and the victims, the victims who are the victims, can be that your own sister, can be your own brother tomorrow, right? So you have your own sister dating a young man that has no job. He is a Yahoo boy. But according to you, your sister, well, I'm sorry, Nigeria has made you seem that uh, it's not bad. The guy is a good guy. Got uh, your family or your family a better place. Your sister is living fine. She's in school. She's getting a degree. She doesn't have to marry him. Uh, she can move on in life later. Everybody is trying to take advantage of everybody while you watch yourselves be murdered, slaughtered for your greed. So I'm saying it to you right now. Many, many of us have a role to play. If you see all these things we are talking about. They are not living away from you. I am not saying that you should go to them and say, ah, what you are doing is not good. Though. You are a Yahoo this and that. If you have a relation that is involved in all this nonsense, right? Before they finally figure out that uh, maybe you defending them, collecting money from them, or the ones uh, protecting whatever they are doing, you are the one that they are going to use next. But listen, Nigeria's future is bleak. There is no light after tunnel, okay? Because no light. And you see those our children, the society is going to teach them how to survive. Many, many of us, when we were growing up, they did not tell us that Nigeria is not for us. They told us to give in, I mean, to, 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 to sacrifice, uh, go to school, uh, get a better grade.